Here's the weirdest game in my collection, Utsurun Des. It was made by Takara, which is the Japanese word for treasure, but just to be clear, Takara is the separate company from the one that made Gunstar Heroes or Ikaruga. It's also based on a manga by Sensha Yoshida, which ran for five years and specialized in irrational randomness. And the game is, as far as I can tell, trying its best to live up to that legacy. From the very title screen itself, this game tries to mess with you. Then in the first stage, you come to a line of spikes that make it seem like a dead end, but you find out that you can walk along the lines in the background. And right after that is a real dead end, where only when you try to go back, you fall down towards where you're actually supposed to go. You play as Kawauso-kun, an otter man or something, who always has this facial expression like he's not particularly amused. His main attack is waving or slapping, which kind of looks like he's shooing off a bothersome fly. That is done by pressing B. Then you can also hold B and release it at the right time for a number of other attacks. First up is dancing, which looks hilarious, and actually does kill close by enemies. Then there's the fire that shoots a blast in both directions, which is easily the best attack in the game. After that is a potted flower that is a joke. It just freezes you in place for a while. But just before it, for a split second, is a powerful attack that kills everything on the screen. But it's hard to pull off. There's a wide variety of wacky enemies. Books shooting hiragana, guys jumping rope, self-walking shoes, and this white thing floating around, and many more. Most of them are fairly non-threatening. Still, due to Kawauso-kun's slow moving speed and overall stiffness, it's pretty easy to get hit. You do have a pretty big life bar and some extra lives, however. You also get money from killing enemies that you can spend in shops, but what's on offer there and what they do isn't very clear, so skipping them is fine. Some describe this game as a kusoge, Japanese for a shitty game, but I think it has its qualities. I mean, it's so weird that it has to be seen to be believed, and the graphics and music aren't half bad either. If you want to take a trip into some really weird, ultra-Japanese stuff, this is for you.